Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jen, also known as Blessed Yoga. And today we're gonna be doing a headstand tutorial, hence this really sexy low ponytail. Because, as you'll notice, if you've got a bun on your head, I mean this is for women, not the men. Oh, maybe man bun, sorry, that was very sexist of me. You're not gonna be able to do a headstand, so make sure if you've got long hair that you're tying it back in a low ponytail. I've actually doubled up my mat today because this floor is absolutely rock solid. Um, but if you're doing it on carpet, you don't really need to do that. And when you're ready, we will hop on our mats and get started. <laughs> before we start one as you can see I've taken off my top if you've got a baggy top on I'd recommend taking it off or switching into something that's a little more tight because as you go upside down your vest or your t-shirt's gonna fall over your face you're not gonna be able to breathe and it's gonna be very uncomfortable tip number two is that I would recommend doing a little flow a little warm-up before we get into headstands so you can click on any one of my other YouTube videos or do your own little flow for like 10 minutes and then start with the headstands. Also, before I got get started, I just wanna say, if you feel a little bit nervous and you feel like having the wall behind you will help, then do your headstands close to a wall. But I kind of personally feel like you can do more damage falling against a wall and kind of falling on your neck funny than just, if you feel like you're gonna fall and you feel like you're too far back on the head, Tuck and roll, just tuck and roll. So it's literally like just doing a little roly poly. I'll do one for you now so you're not scared. And show you that it's not the end of the world. Tuck and roll, <laughs> and that's it. Okay, so to start out, we're gonna take hand out and then you're gonna close the middle three fingers and leave your thumb and your baby finger out like this. <laughs> then you're gonna take your thumb to the middle of your eyebrow and your baby finger to the top of your head. So where that baby finger lands is where you want to be balancing on your head. So I want you to really press that point down and try to remember where that is. So it's kind of like that flat part of the head. So the next step, is we're going to take hands out in front of us and then we're going to grab opposite elbows. So this is how you're going to know if your elbows are shoulder width apart so that when you take your elbows to the floor you always know that's how wide you want them to be. So if ever in doubt you just come back to this make sure you can really grab around both elbows and there you've got your distance. Then you're going to let hands come away from elbows, make a little basket with the hands and I actually advise leaving thumbs unlocked. So it's just the fingers that are locked and the thumb is loose. And then you're going to take that to the floor. Then pressing down that point in the head that you found before, you're going to take that to the mat. So we're grabbing around the back of the head but our hands are on the floor. So you're not grabbing like this with head on the floor, hands are on the floor, head where you found that point is on the floor and elbows are shoulder width apart. And then from here, you're gonna tuck your toes under and lift up your knees. And then we're gonna take these back down. Inhale, lift up the knees. Exhale, dropping them back down. We're going to do one more like that. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, dropping the knees down. And then unlocking the hands, letting the head come up and slowly taking a child's pose to reset. So it might feel a bit funny for you at first, having kind of all that blood rush into the head Maybe it kind of feels a sore on the top of the head, 
but I promise you, you do get used to it. And it's actually really good to be sending blood up the other way because we're standing all day, you know, we don't walk on our hands, we walk on our feet and all the blood kind of gets sent to the bottom of the body and we never bring it up again above the heart. So it's really good for you to have actually a little bit of blood rushing through the face. So don't get scared of it. If you do feel a bit dizzy, just come away, stop and start up again when you feel better. So coming back to that, remember we grab the elbows, we take the elbows down, we make the little basket and we take that top part of the head down. So if you feel like when you're tucking your toes and lifting your knees that you're going to roll over your neck, then you've probably gone too far back on the head. So coming to it, we drop the head back down, we've basketed the hands, we're grabbing on the back of the head, tucking the toes under, lifting the knees. And then I'm going to ask you from here just to start to crawl your feet in closer to your face. So this might feel a little bit scary though. Keeping core engaged, keep breathing here. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. Taking one more breath, breathe in. And then breathe out, slowly dropping the knees down, untucking the toes and just letting the head come up. Either taking a moment in a child's pose or just coming up and letting the blood flow back down underneath the heart. So I'm actually struggling a bit because I've got a blocked nose. So every time I'm upside down, it feels like a lot of pressure in my face. So sorry if I sound a bit funny upside down. The next step from here, remembering, grab the elbows, elbows down, hands in a basket, top of the head down. We tuck the toes under, and lift the knees and then do a little crawl in towards your face then from here as you inhale i want you to tuck that right knee up in it so we're lifting the right foot to the sky good right toes down inhale left toes up exhale drop them down we go other side inhale right toes up exhale down Inhale, left toes up, exhale down, we go one more each side, and down, inhale up, exhale down, dropping the knees and coming back up. Just take a minute, close the eyes, take the hands to the thighs, two deep breaths, inhale, and exhale. Again, breathe in and out. So if you feel like that's pretty stable for you and you don't feel nervous in that position, then I'd say progress with me to the next step. If you do feel a bit nervous and you kind of feel like that's really tricky for you, I would say carry on in those three steps. So next step, we come down making sure we do all our checks, head to the floor and lifting up. And then you're gonna choose which leg feels nicest for you to start with, to lift first. So for example, I like lifting my right toes up first. It just feels better for me. So we're gonna lift the knees, walk the toes in towards us, so our hips are basically now stacking over our head. This makes our legs a lot lighter than if my hips are all the way back here. So making sure we've crawled in the toes, lift up whichever toe feels most comfortable for you. And then I want you to take tiny little hops on the other foot and see if you can get a little bit of a float. Little hops. So with the bunny hops, you don't want to get too much momentum that you've actually used that hop to completely lift you up. You really want to be squeezing your core to lift into a little tuck shape. So I'll show you again, walking the toes in, 
we lift up one foot and then we take little hops. So we really want to try and send the hips over the head. So this left leg, or whichever leg is down, can be as bent as it needs to be to give you a little help upwards. Then if you've got to a little tuck, you want to really squeeze the core in and make sure shoulders are out of ears. So if you feel like you've got that on one side, you know, you've got that little tuck hop up and you're in a stable, strong position, then I would start trying on the other side, so the other leg that maybe doesn't feel as strong for you. So if you've got both sides into a little tuck hold, then we're going to progress to lifting up the legs. So coming down into headstand position and then we're going to tuck our toes, lift one foot and go for a little hop and tuck. And then from here, you're really going to squeeze the lower belly and then start to lift just one foot. So I'd start with the right foot, toes to the sky. Keep squeezing the belly, keep engaging, squeezing the glutes, lifting shoulders out of ears. And if you feel like you're balanced on that one side, you can start to slide that left leg up with it. And then once you're here and you've got both toes up to the sky, I want you to think about squeezing the glutes, so squeezing your bum cheeks, squeezing these together. I like to point my toes, making sure shoulders are out of ears. And then to come down, we bend one leg and then the other, and then little hop down. Oh, take a little child's pose. And that, my friends, is how you do a headstand. So, as I said, I would keep working through the steps, working through that, just taking the head down, lifting the knees. If that starts to feel good, then you really walk the feet up towards you and hold there. Then the third step is you walk your toes in and then you start to tuck one leg in, then take it down and then the other leg and down. And then we go on to our little tuck and hop. So you tuck one leg and try and hop the other up. Tuck one leg, hop the other. Once you've done your hops, then if you can hold your tuck, you lift one leg. If you feel strong there, you go for the other. What I tend to see a lot of, especially like when I go to class and stuff, is people trying to get their headstand like this. So they come to here and they start kicking up. There's absolutely no ways of getting a really strong headstand when you're flailing your legs in the sky. So I promise you, this is a much better way and I've taught so many people headstand this way who've struggled before. Oh, I kick up, I kick up and I can't get my balance. I promise you, getting into that tuck is gonna help you so much. So, thank you so much for joining me today in my little headstand tutorial. If you liked it, obviously hit like below, subscribe, all of that stuff. But if there's any other tutorials you'd like me to film, just comment in the below section and I'll try and create that content for you. Hope you enjoyed and happy headstanding.